Hi, this is Anton Budulovsky from Nuage Networks. In this video, we're going to explore Nuage Virtualized Security Services for SD-WAN. Virtualized Security Services, the VSS, implement the three pillars of the secure SD-WAN branch, prevent, detect, and respond. It provides an end-to-end -end automated approach to face the evolving digital threat landscape. Step one is to protect the branch within the SD-WAN network and the local breakout to the internet. This is done by implementing a stateful firewall right on the CP device without any additional equipment or third-party solutions. This way, branch users can safely access the corporate resources and SaaS applications in the cloud while being protected from both inside and outside threats. Some attacks can be quite sophisticated and cannot be prevented by protective methods. To address that, the second part of the VSS solution includes real-time traffic monitoring and security analytics. It opens up greater visibility into the traffic patterns in the secure SD-WAN network and traffic coming to and from the internet. Based on the real-time data and analytics, we can then pre-program the appropriate security response. The automated action reduces the time to react to the detected anomalies and limits their impact. For this demo, we're going to take an example enterprise, Ion Motors. It's a new autonomous electric vehicle company in San Francisco Bay Area. Currently, the company presence includes three locations in San Jose, Palo Alto, and headquarters in San Francisco. The dealerships or the vehicle experience centers offer Wi-Fi connectivity to their guests. They can use it to access the internet and the interactive portal for customizing their future vehicle options. The employees are provided with corporate access to the secure SD-WAN network across three locations. From the security perspective, Company employees should be blocked from accessing inappropriate websites as well as social media and off-site file storage systems as per the company policy. Guest users should be allowed accessing the internet and the vehicle experience portal hosted in HQ, though they should be restricted from using high bandwidth applications and accessing inappropriate resources. For all user traffic, operators should be able to visualize the traffic flows and detect and highlight anomalies. In case of the breach, the intruder should be quarantined or blocked. In terms of the network design, the company's network will consist of two L3 domains, which separate guest and corporate traffic. Distinct zones in the guest domain allow policy enforcement to grant specific access for guests and block everything else. Now let's take a look how this is configured in Nuage Virtualized Services directory. There is an enterprise created for our business, Ion Motors. The enterprise has two L3 networks, one for corporate access, one for guest. The corporate network includes one corporate zone with three subnets representing the three branches. The guest network includes two zones, one public zone representing the customer portal hosted in HQ and the Wi-Fi zone at the dealerships. Now, let's take a look at security policies that would implement prevent part of the VSS. We've created policy groups for each branch adding corresponding vports. There is also an empty policy group that will be used later for automated response. Now, let's take a look at ingress security policy. The created security policy will be applied to the traffic entering the access ports. As you can see, it's configured to forward IP traffic by default. Let's go over the individual rules in the policy. The first rule, suspect traffic, will drop all packets coming from PG suspect policy group, which is currently empty. Next, we have a few web filtering rules that block traffic based on the URL category. In our case, we block online games, some illegal activities, and explicit content. Then we have a couple of layer 7 rules that block traffic based on the application signature. As per the requirements, we have to block off-site file storage, for example Google Drive, and social media, in this case Facebook. There is also a rule to allow access to LinkedIn URL. The VSS records URL category matches regardless of the prescribed action. We might want to use it to make sure our HR is using the recruiter subscription or we may want to keep our finger on pulse of the workforce happiness. Finally, there are allow rules for DNS and web traffic. Since the rules are stateful, nothing from outside will be permitted 
unless the session was initiated from the corporate network. Now let's take a look at a corporate computer at Palo Alto location and see the prevent configuration in action. The NSG device at Palo Alto location indeed has a vPort connected to the corporate network. Now let's take a look at Palo Alto workstation. Let's test out the firewall rules. First, let's access a SaaS application, for example, Office 365. Now, let's see if we can access off-site file storage, for example, Google Drive. You can see the page is not loading fully as our firewall is matching Google Drive's Layer 7 application signature and is correctly dropping traffic. Social media should be blocked as well. Next, let's check web filtering. The policy does not allow accessing any gaming URLs. And we see a page informing the user that this URL is blocked. All other traffic to web servers is allowed. The number of firewall matches is recorded for each of the rules in the VSD. Now, let's see the firewall configuration for the guest domain. We also have similar policy groups configuration and the ingress security policy. For guest users, our policy requires to block high bandwidth traffic and any inappropriate URLs or applications. We also want to record where the prospective buyers are browsing financial or insurance products while on premises. This is achieved using web filtering rules. Wi-Fi network firewall policy also allows accessing the web server hosting the customer portal in HQ. Let's take a look at this configuration in action. We have a customer tablet connected to the Wi-Fi network at Palo Alto location. The customer can access the vehicle experience portal. They can also browse financial products. And they're blocked from using high bandwidth applications, for example, Netflix. The firewall rule match count is recorded. In the other direction, both networks are configured with egress security policies. It blocks any traffic that was originated externally and allows returning traffic that was allowed by the stateful rules of the ingress policy. Now let's take a look at the real-time statistics and security analytics. Top Talkers tab lists number of packets per each major category, source IP, policy group, subnet, or zone. Flow Visualization tool displays a graphic representation of the traffic patterns in the L3 domain along with some numbers. The operator can browse through the traffic flows in real time using Flow Explorer tab. Event Analytics tab lists any incidents detected by the VSS. We will look into this in more detail in a few minutes. ACL Analytics allows you to drill down into individual ACLs and their timeline.
There are also screens providing insights into service, application, and traffic analytics. There is also a web analytics tab that provides statistics on web filtering. The summary of the data available in VSS is presented at the Enterprise VSS Analytics Dashboard. It also lists any security-related alarms. Let's explore the VSD configuration for these alarms and how we can program the appropriate action to mitigate the detected anomalies. But before we do that, let's come back to the policy groups that were created in the beginning of this demo. The firewall is configured already to block all traffic sourced by vPorts that are part of the policy group PG Suspect. Currently, the policy group is empty. We can use this construct together with the threshold crossing alarms to program the appropriate response. The TCA can be configured at domain, zone, subnet, or vPort levels. Let's configure it for San Jose vPort use by guest Wi Fi users. When configuring the TCA, an operator can select the trigger event, the action that will be taken in response to the event, and the threshold and period. For the action, the VSS can create an alert and initiate a policy group change. Let's configure the TCA to move the source vPort to our suspect policy group. We've configured the TCA to detect a port scan in San Jose Wi-Fi network. The TCA will trigger the policy group change as per the configured period and threshold parameters. Alternatively, we can configure a policy group to mirror traffic to another device by selecting Add Policy Group that is configured with the corresponding mirroring configuration. Now, let's wait for the security event to take place. Let's check the Enterprise Dashboard. As expected, a security alarm was raised. Now let's check the policy group configuration to see if San Jose vPort was added to it. So the vPort in San Jose was automatically added to the PG suspect group. The site's guest Wi-Fi has been isolated from the rest of the network because the firewall is configured to drop all traffic from PG suspect policy group. We can prove that by checking end user device. As expected, all traffic is being dropped. Now let's move the vPort back to its original policy group. In the upcoming Nuage VNS release, the TCA action will be able to use the source IP address, which will enable greater granularity for the security response. And the traffic block is lifted. San Jose is back online. In this demo, We've looked at the VSS functionality applied to the SD-WAN deployment in retail scenario. For our example car company, we were able to address three blocks of the secure SD-WAN branch. We've protected it from the inside and outside threats. We've enabled the operator with greater visibility in real time. And we've automated the response to security incidents. Thank you for tuning in to this demo and make sure to check the new security capabilities of the Nuage SD-WAN platform. Thank you.